the reason that that frog deserved to die is because it's too stupid to fight me properly anyway. So yeah, look at this. Why would I free this guy if I can just get over here anyway when clearly he's a bad dude? Oh, there's nothing over here anyway. What the fuck? What are you... Oh, maybe if you light this torch, something like that. Probably not. What are you hiding, big guy? Maybe he's friendly. Like, maybe you let him out and he's like, I know that my other dudes like me have totally tried to murder your bitch ass before, but I promise I'm totally a cool dude. But you know what? I don't... I'm not a trustworthy guy. Oh. Dragon statue. I'm not a trustworthy dude. I don't just let... Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I need to pull the... Duh. I need to pull this dragon tongue. And hopefully that... Oh, that closed the door behind me. Ooh. You're a tricky one, Dragon Tongue. You closed the door behind me like a dick. Bring me into some dark, terrifying ass passage with, uh, oh. Look at that. Oh, you know what? <gasps> I kind of want to free. So, that thing on the ground that said ally required ahead? I bet that if I let out that other big guy. He'll come, like, save... Maybe they're friends. I'm gonna keep that in mind. I actually might end up releasing that dude. I, th I feel now like it's not a completely bad idea. Everything in here is terrifying, by the way, right now. That thing's shaking. Here's another enemy in a cage that's probably gonna break out if I try and fuck with him. And this door... Well, this fucking door is just chained shut. That's gotta be... That means it's got a dark, evil demon inside of it that I do not even want to fuck with. So much fucking, like... I don't want this guy breaking out of the cage like his old friend did. I see a doorway off to the side. Maybe that'll be... Okay, locked. I was like, maybe this doorway off the side will lead me to friendly things. Is everything locked? Nope. Okay, good. We need a route. Oh, shit. Some sort of poison alchemy lab that possibly doesn't have anything in it? Oh, no, no, there's a stairway. Holy shit. This place is, like, ridiculous. Oh, no. Is this... Okay, for a second there I thought this was filled with some type of gas, and that it was item break gas. Although, look at that. They're in water on the ground. Something gives me the feeling that the water these guys are in is item break water, so... Even though things seem to be okay, they're not totally okay. Alright, dude. I've gotta kill you, my friend. I'm really sorry, but I need to go hang out in that room. And the only way I can do so is if you have been murdered. So I would like to... Hey, these are the guys... These are the dudes that... What is he doing right now? Okay, you are fucking too stupid to live anyway. I was gonna say, these are the dudes that hang out in the gutter. I really don't want to walk in this water because I'm afraid that it's... gonna break my items, and I really don't want to take that risk right now. Fuck... Like, fuck breaking my items, and fuck item break water. I've got no way to prove that this is item break water, though, but just to be safe, I'm gonna do something really quick. I put on a weapon? I was right. I actually put on a weapon just to see if it would get broken by this water. Because <laughs> I was like, dude, this is totally item break water, which means that if I put on a weapon, it's straight up gonna get broken. Although it doesn't seem to be being broken very quickly. Now we're gonna check the durability of this item and see if I was right about everything. Oh, dude, that water does worse than break it! Look, the durability is fine, but all its stats are way lowered. Good thing I fucking didn't keep my normal shit on in there. I didn't even realize this Northern Ritual Band that I picked up is sexy. I don't know how much that reduces my HP, I guess we're gonna find out, but it increases spell uses, so it's like, who cares? Dude, when they said decreases HP, they weren't kidding. You know what? I've got a bunch of Pharos Lockstone things right now, and this message on the floor has said that if I use this, yep, it'll light up this area, which, in my mind, makes the area a little bit sexier, knowing that I can actually see what's going on down here. But, by the way, so I picked up Aldia's key, and I'm wondering if it happens to go to, to this door... It does! Cool! Now I can find more shit! Oh! Possibly or Is that the only enemy in this room? Just wanna make sure before I start fucking around with it that I'm not gonna get, like, ambushed by some other enemy. Are you an enemy or- Okay, you're an enemy! I just wanted to be sure, damn it! I should've- I had such a great chance to just rock this thing's world from behind, and I wasted it because I wasn't sure if it was- Oh, crap! His brought his friends! He's brought his friends. I was a f dude. That's bullshit. I like, 
took extra care to make sure that this guy wasn't going to bring his friends, and there's the friends. All right, we're doing it. What's the worst that could happen, right? Other than this guy completely fucks me over and battles me. Oh, dude, him just falling on me. I should have done it from the front. All right, what are you going to do, man? I was right. I was totally right. He is going to... Is he going to... Oh, no, he's going to fight me. Is he going to fight me? Oh, yup. Damn it. I thought... I thought something totally cool was gonna happen. I thought maybe this guy was gonna be nice. See, I thought he was gonna come break this other thing out and that maybe they were gonna have some, like, epic monster love story or something. I had... I'm sorry, I had some kind of weird dreams of... Oh, okay, that test is over. I was actually really hoping that, um... that would deal some decent damage to these people. But now I realize that it won't, and I know they do a shit done of damage to me. Oh, and they eat radiant life gems like fucking assholes. That's not cool. I don't respect people who heal during fights like... Oh, shit. I gotta be more careful. Like, one hit from these things does some serious damage to me. I gotta make sure that I'm not, like, letting them mess around. All right, friend. I'm not gonna let you fuck around this time. No more... No more hits on my bitch ass. And yes, I do admit that my ass is that of a bitch. It is not the ass of a champion. It is the ass of somebody who... Oh, I should... Oh, cool. I had just enough hits in me to kill her. For a second there, it crossed my mind. I was like, dude, I probably should have left enough stamina in me to do a shield block, but it don't matter none now because... Oh, there's another repair... Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not falling for those games, friend. I know what you're gonna do. You're gonna spread your gas on me and break my gear. And guess what? My gear don't get broken by some bitch-ass dude like you. My gear gets broken by the way true warrior's gear gets broken. Does he have any items, though, that he's guarding? Nah, whatever. I don't think he does. Yeah, my gear gets broken by the way of champion's gear getting broken. Through epic battle and conquest. Look at this guy. Oh, <gasps> he was going to try and trick me, but now he can't do it. I actually know from watching, this is amazing. I know from watching a speed run that if you walk up to that door, this guy breaks out and he tries to like kill you without you have being any smarter of what's happening. Without you being, oh shit, what the fuck? It was this door. It was this door and I've been invaded. Oh crap. <laughs> shit. Total shit. Double shit. Darn. Double darn. Ah, crap. If you come back here, obviously that wall is already broken when you come back, so... You gotta strategize a wee bit differently, though. By the way, I thought I would use an old-fashioned strategy here. A strategy of cowardice. Where, instead of... Please say this isn't a boss. Oh, it's a boss. Of course it's a boss. Oh, and it's a fi it's a dragon, which means that I probably shouldn't have... I mean, I don't know. I probably shouldn't have so much fire spells with me because they're probably not going to kick this dragon's ass very well, which saddens me greatly and deeply. Dude, look at that! You can just pop him with three soul spears right the fuck when he wakes up. Kick his ass old school, something fierce. Except for now I know that I need to change up my strategy a little bit here. Alright, he doesn't seem to be able to hit me with this fire from the angle he's popping it at right now, which means I'm gonna pop some easy soul vortexes at him, maybe. See how that works out. Oh, dude, this boss is super susceptible to my m wizardry! Oh, what the fuck? Except for that time he wasn't. The fuck? Get down here. I'm gonna pop you with a soul vortex and this battle's gonna be over. Oh my gosh! I don't even need to cut out the first battle. I was just gonna cut out the first battle and only show the second battle. But, uh, holy shit! The first battle was like a learning period where I learned that this fucking boss, in quotation marks, don't know shit about how to be the shit. <laughs> I, don't even know, I don't even know what I'm saying. This boss sucks at knowing how to not be weak against my sweet soul magics. And you know what? When you're a boss, and you're against a guy that uses the sweet, sweet, sexy soul magic- Oh, this- 
Dit, I gotta say, I gotta be honest, Dit is one gorgeous ass view. I usually don't sit there and marvel at the views, but we I'd be lying if I said that wasn't one sexy, gorgeous ass view. And look, you get to admire this sexy, gorgeous ass view while going up an elevator. I decided I would speed up the elevator ride for once, just because usually elevator rides aren't that... Oh, damn it! The elevator just drops you here. What a fucking dick. It doesn't even leave itself. Oh, I should probably pop on some weaker spells. Crap, the problem for the, with that dragon is I brought way too many strong spells and not enough, like, badass, awesome spells. The dragon airy. Oh, dude, am I gonna have to face more dragons? Who knows? I wonder what happened to the head... I'm gonna be 100% honest when I ask this little question here. I wonder whatever happened to... Whoa. Whoa. To... The thing. What was I trying to say? I totally lost. I wonder what happened to the head of the giant skeletal dragon. That's what I meant to say was that I just realized that I never did anything with the head of the giant skeletal dragon, and she gives me this feather. I don't know what to do with it, but I'm sure the game will tell me. And what would be really great is if the game would tell me where a bonfire was. Because it has been so ever, ever so long since I have gone to a bonfire, And especially now that I'm in like a fucking valley of dragons, I would love to... Oh, then there's... Okay. Complaints rested. That place is awesome. And that's why, that's where I'm going to be going in the next episode of Dark Souls 2. This has been Rakdar. So right at the end of my recording session, I decided to go over to Gilligan, the guy that that crazy evil wizard at Aldia's Keep asked me to kill, a.k.a. the ladder guy. Gilligan is obviously the ladder guy who gives you all the ladders. So the guy asked me, the wizard, asked me to bring back a... Um, a miniature ladder to prove that I'd killed him. So instead, I went and bought the miniature ladder from Gilligan. But when I came back with the miniature ladder to the wizard guy, the wizard guy said that he didn't want it and that he had p already picked a new target that he was going to kill. So I don't know if I made the right decision or not, or if I did a good thing or a bad thing, but that wizard guy really scared me. And I know that in Dark Souls Original, there were straight up dudes that if you let them live, they would like kill everybody in your home, in your main area. So I didn't want him to go, like, kill everybody in Majula, so I killed him. So I hope that doesn't come back to bite me in the ass. Now this episode's over for real. This has been Raktar. Thank you for watching.